what we are looking to do in an urban environmental program is to really expand the boundaries of the definition of environment, expanding that to where we live, where we work, where we play. biggest thing that needs to be changed is finding a way to make it more real. You got kids who live right now, right here, and they have never been downtown. They live three miles away from the Seattle Center, and they've never been to the Seattle Center, so they can't see that far. But if you take them to one of these hills, and they can look and see 50 miles that way and another 50 miles that way, suddenly they start to dream about, somebody told me one time that I could go to college. Urban environmental education to me means taking education back where it belongs and that's at home and in the communities where environment is all around us 24-7 and that starts within the community and the community that's around the school system. Environment plays a big part into who we are as a human society and who we are as a community and who how we commune with each other. I think the first step to allowing or empowering somebody to care about their environment is to, to really show them that they are owners of that environment, that it belongs to them. And with that comes a lot of ownership, a lot of responsibility. It opens up an entire way of thinking about what the environment means to them. When we think about environment education, we never think about the urban aspect, the inner city, I like to call it, where diversity is real, where issues matter, regardless of your color. And this program is trying to get the best students that are focused on not themselves, but their community. One of the reasons that Islandwood is, is starting urban environmental education programs is because 80% of the world is moving to urban centers. The reality is, unless we reach a future generation of kids right now, there aren't going to be conservationists in the future. This is vital to the future of the world. We need to get kids to understand and feel connected with and out into nature. And we think that going into the city is our best tactic to doing that, because that's where all the kids live. Yeah.